Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to be painting with alcohol ink and today's subject is the hepatica and the presentation is being brought to us by Tammy Crawford. Tammy is one of the newest contributors to the alcohol ink art community. If you haven't check out our community we are on Facebook you can just search alcohol ink art community and you can't miss us we invite you to join us if you'd like to learn more about alcohol ink so now we're going to jump into the presentation thanks Tammy for uh, being here and for providing us with this demonstration of how you paint grasses and the hepatica for this project today we're going to do some fun grasses and I've picked out some hepaticas from Pixabay. So these are low-lying flowers. You could try a daisy if you wanted to, if you didn't want to do a hepatica. And what I'm going to do is, is um, we're going to make grass so that they're in fluffy grasses instead of just being on the ground. And so you can take a piece of Yupo paper or whatever kind of paper you would like to. And I've drawn here, I've drawn out a picture. You can decide whatever ones you want to use or pick your own or what, what, do what you like. You can decide where you want to place them, whether you want your paper this direction, the portrait or a landscape. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to take some masking fluid. You're going to need a mapping pen. These are handy dandy things because they're adjustable. You just don't want to get any masking fluid up in the gear up here. Otherwise it won't, it does different thicknesses by adjusting the screw on the side. It's called a mapping pen. And I'm going to make sure my masking fluid doesn't have any globs in it. It looks pretty good. I also am using a color shaper. And what I'm going to do is mask all of my hepaticas. I didn't draw in those little white specks for now because later on I'm going to probably just do them in a Posca pen. And later on I will mask the centers yellow again after I remove this masking fluid. Okay, as I'm finishing up the last of my flowers so that they're all masked. While my masking fluid is still very fluid, I'm going to pick up my mapping pen, dip it slightly in here, see how it captures a little bit of the masking in the between the two prongs and we are going to make grass marks. Start at the edge of your paper and just go across. If you have too thick a line like I thought that was too thick, I'm going to go thinner so I screwed it down tighter. We want grasses all different directions and go right through those. Don't worry if you get a gap in your thing. It just looks like grasses. Whoop. Don't want to spill that. Just randomly place them. That one will not clear across the top. <laughs> And you want quite a few on there, but you don't want to overdo it. And we're going to end up putting a second layer of masking fluid on it in a little bit, but not quite yet. Might want a little couple drops just for fun. have to keep refilling your thing. Sometimes it gets clogged up. You just clean it out with a paper towel. Dip it back in and add a few more. And I think that's enough for now. 
I'll let you see it closer. Okay, after that has dried completely, you pick out some light colors that you would like to use. I'm picking pistachio, amethyst, and citrus. I'm going to use just a little bit of amethyst, not very much. The rest, these two colors. And get it spread around evenly. I find the three colors work good. If you get more than that, sometimes it gets too muddy. Let's do a little bit more amethyst. And a little bit more. Okay, make sure you get all the little white spots. Okay, and then let that dry, and then after that dries, take and spray two coats of Kamar varnish on it, and let it dry 30 minutes in between each coat and then let it dry thoroughly and then we'll be back. Okay, I've sprayed my painting with two coats of Kamar and I've poured some more um, masking fluid in my cup. It's all fluidy. And I have my mapping pen again. And I'm going to fill it up part way again and continue to make more grasses right over top of the ones we did before just random marks everywhere. So we're picking either mid tones or dark tones. I have picked crimson. I'm going to use that sparingly, and stream and botanical. And I'm just going to put that on. And then I'm going to spread it around. That is super dark. You can tell the deck crimson's kind of making muddy, a muddy mess. I am mistakenly calling this an aqua wash brush. It's called an aqua wash. Brush. And it's stream. Probably could have used a yellow. This is going to be very dark. I'm actually going to use some rubbing alcohol in a cup. slightly in a couple areas where I don't like it that dark. There we go. You can squeeze this uh, aqua wash because I have rubbing alcohol in it too if I want to use if I want some of it lighter. But of course if we have muddy ground it really doesn't matter in this picture because these are lilo, yeah, low-lying flowers that are close to the ground. There's an alternative colors I've used. Peach Bellini with a little bit of Sunset Orange, Lemonade, and Limeade, and then I've sprayed it with Kamar. 
Instead of using the mapping pen, there's some alternatives. You could always use a straw. Here I've cut the straw corner. Um, this is a small size zero angled chisel color shaper. They come in all sorts of different sizes. Okay. This is an SAA masking fluid brush. I don't quite care for those lines. They seem like they're too thin. This needs rinsed right away, cleaned. You can use a normal stick. Stick doesn't hold very much. As you can see, it's starting, my line starting slow. Okay, here's a dip pen. What I don't like, that's a too, way too thin of a line. And it seems like those are hard to clean. Here is a bigger dip pen. That one seems to be scratching my thing, and it is too thin of a line also. Okay, this is the second layer that I did. I did orange dandelion and botanical on this layer, and then I sprayed it again with Kamar. So this would be the second layer. I'm going to apply masking fluid to this one again. And then, I'm after I apply the masking fluid, I'm going to apply those same colors, orange dandelion and botanical, on top of that. Okay, time to remove the masking fluid for the big reveal. I'm using a piece of tape. And then once I get it started, I'm pulling on it. Since this video was about the grasses, I went ahead off camera and painted the hepaticas with alcohol ink markers and um, added some white Posca pen for the stamens and painted the centers yellow. And I also painted the white grasses since the white dots that I had, I painted them with a yellow and I actually overlapped some of the flowers so that it feel like they were closer to the to the ground. Um, this one here, I only did the two layers of grasses. This one here, I did three layers of grasses by adding that extra layer of spraying it with Kamar and adding an extra layer. This one, I also added a few shadows down below here. A warning, if you don't get the background color on the flowers dark enough, then the white won't show up for the Posca pen. And so I hope you can go and make your own grasses. There's lots of different areas in your paintings I'm sure you can use. Thanks so much for watching our presentation by Tammy Crawford. Be sure to join us on Facebook at the Alcohol Inc. Art Community. Come learn, create, and share with us. It's a life-changing opportunity. Excite the art. We